Hey everyone out there, my name is Devin Adams, I'm a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona, and I record these videos for the peeps who take my class, and uh, yeah, so here we go with another set of videos that are going to be coming up, and uh, me and 40 Duck, yes, 40 Duck is back, this is the rubber duck that I, that I talk to to get ideas, and when I do impromptu demos, guys, I'm just pulling things out of my nose, okay? Um, in other words, they're not rehearsed. I don't really know what direction I'm going. I'm just kind of rolling with it. So uh, I did just recently a uh, couple of videos on our um, VDOM splitting, right, for HA. And that way we could have two 40 gates passing traffic instead of one in high availability mode. And I thought to myself, you know what? We really, we as a me and the royal we, me and 40 duck here, um, we really haven't gone down vdoms much in any of our videos right and so i thought to myself you know what we should really record those so here we are all right so um <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and explore it and instead of just throwing a whole bunch of configuration at you um i'm gonna pretend like and this is what adults do when they have nothing better to do at home they play with their ducks uh i i I'm, we're going to pretend like we're a managed service provider, and me and 40 Duck here, uh, we found a building, and we went ahead and we got access to the MDF, the main distribution frame, which is a fancy way of saying in the basement of the Acne building, and 40 Duck thought of this because, you know what? is nice about VDOMs is uh, their virtual domains and they're a way for us to carve up our FortiGate logically and that way we can have not just uh, administration boundaries but we can have resource boundaries and we only have to pay for one license per box for the FortiGuard licensing so 40 duck and I are here to make some money. So uh, we still need to sell it to these people in this building, but we have our FortiGate here. Uh, we bought a couple of circuits from a couple of different service providers and we set up shop. And uh, yeah, we're going to become managed security service providers. Quack. All right. So uh, before we can do that, though, we need to configure our FortiGates for VDOMs. And that's where we're going to start. And that's kind of like the whole roll the whole idea that we're going to be rolling with here um, is just different ways that we can set up customers right and maybe make a little profit on the side so sure why not so let's go ahead and go into our management pc all right, so here we are, and we're already signed in. Here's the Acme FortiGate. Now, I usually try to use the free licenses as much as possible in my videos. Unfortunately, the free license do not support VDOMs, so I did have to drop a legitimate license on here, all right, one that I use in my lab environments, and that did give us 10 virtual domains. Now, you can see how many VDOMs are supported in your FortiGate. Typically, it is 10 if you have a physical FortiGate. But when it comes to the VMs, it can be a little bit trickier because I know that there's different tiers of VMs. If you notice, this is a VM01. Um, it goes all the way up, I believe, to VM10 or something resource-wise. But if you get a do a get system status, it will tell you how many VDOMs are available. And in our model, it is 10. All right, so they are not turned on. Okay, and even if you're not using VDOMs, you still have a native virtual domain and that's what that root is and you'll see that scattered throughout your FortiGate. So um, another thing that I did that was kind of not special but out of the norm, if we go to our interfaces, we're going to be carving out these interfaces to our customers. So yeah, I turned on the maximum of 18 interfaces on my virtual FortiGate. What? Look at all those beautiful, beautiful ports. Okay, I reserved the first four for maybe future WAN connections, right? I didn't even configure port two yet. And, uh, um, but I did at least set it up to where our management PC has our, our internet. And we haven't sold anything to anyone yet. These are my make-believe companies here. Um, so yeah, in this first video, we're gonna turn on VDOMs. Now I am rocking the 40 OS version uh, 6.2, and starting with version 6.2, guys, VDOMs are enabled a little bit differently. So they did have a VDOM mode for um, the security fabric, and it is just focusing on the security fabric, not as like a managed service provider kind of perspective or even, you know, inter-department segmentation. Um, 
<clears throat> but anyways, we have to turn VDOMs on. So normally we would go to system and we go to our settings here and VDOMs would be able to flip them on here. Now, if you don't see them, all right, it doesn't mean that your FortiGate doesn't necessarily support them. It just means that you have to enable them from the CLI. Okay, so, and the syntax for that, I actually do not know off the top of my head. Okay, <laughs> but I do believe it's going to be, um, uh, let me look it up here. It's going to be config system global. All right, and that's going to be set VDOM mode. Okay, to multi VDOM. So once again, guys, the uh, the split VDOM is going to be for the security fabric. All right, we're not going to do that. That's a completely different solution. And then, oops, you know what? Let me actually do this through my console port because it can be read a little bit better. There we go. So instead of that little widget popping up. So once again, we're just turning them on. Uh, all right. So we're going to do a config system global. All right. And we're going to set VDOM. Now, what's really interesting, and this is true about the older versions, you can't tab complete this for some reason. I promise you, there's more damaging commands you can tab complete. You're still doing it right. You just have to complete it out manually. And now it works. All right. Multi VDOM enabled. All right. Or actually, no, it's not enabled. There we go. And then after that, we're going to do an end to commit. And then it logs everyone out. Now, it's not rebooting the device. It just has to exit everyone out because it fundamentally changes the way that the FortiGates are administered to. All right. So, for example, if I get right back into the CLI, now that the VDOMs are turned on and I try to get a get system status, right? There we go. That works. But maybe I want to do a config uh, system interface and it's not working. And you're like, wait a second, did I break my FortiGate? Why can't I suddenly, you know, why can't I config my, my interfaces? And you kind of start freaking out. And the, the reason why is because if you're logging in as a super admin, you have to tell the CLI where you're focusing on your configuration. Are you going to be in the global settings? And those are the things that participate or not just participate. Uh, those are the um, different parts of the FortiGate that are a part of the FortiGate itself. Or are you focusing on a VDOM that you're trying to configure? So if we go ahead and do config global, we're now in the global level of our VDOMs. And then we can do a config system interface like normal. So it does take a little bit to get used to. Um, I remember when I first turned it on, I thought I broke the thing. I thought I broke it. <laughs> so you didn't break it, I promise. Um, but let's go ahead and go back into the GUI now. <clears throat> and let's log in. All right. And uh, before we start selling our services out to our different companies here all right uh, one thing that we are going to notice is that we now have this drop down up here in the corner now the global settings are those that are only available for super admins all right so and that's going to be me and 40 duck okay and then the root was our native vdom all right and this is going to act as our like managed service provider uh, virtual domain that uh, managed traffic is going to go through. Okay. Now, when it comes to actually creating VDOMs for customers, we'll create those as we sign them up. But something to keep in mind is that we don't want our customers just to have all of our resources, you know, and and use them. We want to be able to. Uh, maybe do service contracts right or service level agreements and you do that by going to global you go to system and now you have a vdom option okay and this is where we're going to actually carve out our fortigates to those customers all right and then we're going to assign interfaces to them then we're going to make their own admins and it's going to feel like they have their own fortigates and we're going to do that with videos coming up here i'm honestly just rolling with this but one thing that i really wanted to point out though is the global resources now the global resources is what your fortigate can support 
okay? So we have things like firewall policies. So this model can support up to that many firewall policies, right? That many address objects, that many service objects. If it says no limit, by the way, guys, it just means that it's as much as the memory can handle, all right? There's no hard limit on it. And this is gonna be very important when we start delegating our FortiGates VDOMs because we're not gonna want someone to have 100 firewall policies. We'll say, hey, you know what? For you, VDOM, you're allowed to have maybe five firewall policies. And then if you wanna purchase additional services, <laughs> right? We can go ahead and delegate that, okay? I'm just bringing this up before we start carving up the FortiGate because these are things if we really were being managed service providers, we'd probably wanna work out to begin with, all right? So, <clears throat> With that being said, um, I'm going to actually stop the video right there, all right, because it's been about 10 minutes, and I just wanted to do a quick introduction and also how to turn on the VDOMs themselves. Now, when I get back, we're going to explore different ways that we can implement the VDOMs like we signed up these businesses right here. Now, this does not necessarily have to be businesses. You can use these VDOMs, like I said, for boundaries. Uh, you can even have VDOMs in different operation modes. So you can have one running in layer three, uh, NAT mode, or, and then you can have another VDOM running in transparent mode on the same box. But you know what really makes this neat, guys, from the perspective of, of a, a managed service provider? The whole entire box is still running only one set of FortiGuard licenses. So in other words, we're sharing the antivirus, we're sharing the web filtering, we're sharing the, the licenses for the IPS. So uh, Forty Duck was a smart duck, right? Quack, he's gonna make us some money. So anyways, guys, so that is pretty much just the introduction video. I'm gonna try to record these uh, throughout the, the week. Um, but in our next video, we're gonna sign up our first customer and we're gonna give them some interfaces. We are gonna give them some resources. We're gonna give them uh, an admin account. And uh, yeah, so until next time. All right, guys.